day without that feeling, and you know. Yo yo yo, what's up guys, it's Arpa here, in today's tutorial I will show you guys how to make that amazing effect that you just saw in the intro, the only plugins you will need for this tutorial is the Sapphire and Universe plugins. But other than that, drop a like, drop a sub and let's get right into the tutorial. So basically the first thing we wanna do is to time map the clip and sync it up with the music, so the basic stuff. If you don't know how to time map a clip or want the exact time mapping I use in this tutorial, then I will link it made the tutorial on that in the description but now when we got that out of the way let's start doing the effect we'll start doing the build up so the first thing we want to do is to go to the shot film pack that's the first frame you see the numbers pair so for me to write here we see the numbers basically press new clip right there and press ctrl b to split the clip right there and then from here we need to go 35 frames to the left you can just use your arrow keys and go 35 frames to the left but i know a much faster way of doing that so the fast way of doing it is just press on the left part of your clip press on it and press ctrl d and then this should pop up then switch the format to frames and here in the duration write in minus 35 then press change and it should become 35 frames shorter so basically now take a red cursor to where that clip ends, so right there, and basically press M on your keyboard to put on the mark right there. So we know that that's 35 frames. And basically what you're going to do now is basically just drag out the clip to the shot film pack again and press on it again and go to the marker and press Ctrl B to split it. And now we know that this part we cut out is exactly 35 frames long. What you're going to do now is the little part in the middle we just cut out. You need to hold Alt on it and drag it one layer up like this. For now you can just disable it by pressing D on it. And this original clip we cut out basically just hover over it and go to the Fusion tab. In the description you should find the Groove folder. In that Groove folder you should find a bunch of presets. The only the preset called Preshake Plus Background CC are the presets. Basically just download that and just drag it in like this and just connect it. You will need the Sapphire plugins for this. It's basically just the pre-shake with a bunch of motion blur and some saturation, some darkness. Uh, then basically you can go back to the edit tab. If you can hear something in the background, it's because it's raining right now for me. So basically I yeah, sorry for that. But basically what you're going to do now is you're going to undisable the clip we disabled before by just pressing D on it again. And what you're going to do to this clip is we're basically going to mask off your character how to do that is basically just hover over it and go to the color tab inside of here you're basically gonna go to the circle with four dots and press on this like pencil thingy then you're gonna go to the first frame by dragging this red cursor all the way to the left and keyframe the correct one then basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically just go around your character and press with your mouse that should create this like dots and lines so basically just uh, mask your character with this and i'll basically see you guys when i'm done with the first frame so like this, now I'm basically done with the first frame. And basically what you're going to do now is you're going to basically go with the arrow keys frame by frame to the right and basically just correct the dots and make them so they still are around your character. You don't need to keyframe the correct one anymore because it will get keyframed automatically when you change something. But basically just do this to every frame, correct the dots. And I will see you guys basically when I'm done with all the frames. So basically now I'm done with every frame and basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna go to nodes up here and if you don't see them just press on nodes up here. Then basically just right click anywhere and press add alpha output. Then basically you're gonna connect them like this and it should become transparent like this. Now you can basically go back to the edit tab and now you're gonna right click on the clip we just masked and press new compound clip and press create. So basically like this. What you're gonna do now is basically the compound clip we just created you're gonna basically hold alt on it and drag it one layer up like this so we basically create a copy and we have two copies above each other like this but for now we can just disable the top copy again by just pressing D on it and what you're gonna do to the original masked compo clip is basically just hover over it and go to the fusion tab then in the same good draft you should find a preset called mask back CCRP basically just download that and just drag it in like this and then basically just connect it it's just a nice like kind of distort and lava effect I don't know, I just feel like it looks really clean. But then basically you can go back to the edit tab. And what you're going to do now is you can undisable the clip we disabled before by just pressing D on it. And it should look like this. Now it's a little special thing we need to do to get that special glow that you saw in the intro. Basically what we need to do is you need to basically just 
you need to drag over all the clips below that clip and basically press D on them to basically disable them. So we only can see this mask and everything in the background is black. And basically what we need to do now is we need to render it in a special way. Go to the first frame we see it. So we hit start and up here you should see two arrows. Press on the arrow to the left and then you need to go to the last frame of it or where it ends and then you need to press on the right arrow. Basically just press on it and you should see this gray like line up here over it and only cover that clip. Then basically you need to go to the deliver tab inside of here you can just name it something and just find the place you want it to get rendered to. I will just name it Clark. I'm so sorry if you hear something in the background it's just my ring going crazy but basically what you need to do now you need to change some settings basically change the format to QuickTime then change the codec to GoPro Cineform change the type to RGB 16 bit and then this box should appear export alpha basically tick that then basically just press add render queue and then basically just render it I won't do that because I'll render it but basically when you render it you can just go back to the edit tab and basically what you're gonna do now is you're gonna basically just take the friend we just created from your files and basically just drag it in and drag it over the original clip so we basically just replaced it and now you can drag out this gray line if you want like this and now now basically we can undisable all the clips below again just like this nothing should really change so because we basically just took the clip and re-rendered it transparent but this what you can do now is just hover over the new clip and go to fusion tab then in the single draw file you should find a preset called light race mask cc basically just download that and just drag it in like this then you can connect it and now you see that the race goes outside your shark if we didn't do the render then you wouldn't see all these rays well basically Basically, now we can go back to the edit tab and it should look really nice like this. Now it's basically just the zoom in left add. How we can do that is basically just go to FX, drag in the adjustment clip and make it so it ends on the shot of impact. Don't make it shorter because that will mess up the preset we're gonna use. But then basically just hover over it and go to the fusion tab. And in the Sagal Draft field, you should find a preset called zoom in plus radial preset. Basically just download that and just drag it in like this and connect it. I think it looks really nice but basically what you can do now is just go back to the edit tab and now we're gonna add the impact. It's really easy, it's the same thing, just go to fix, drag in the adjustment clip, make it to start on the shot of impact, don't make it shorter. But where you can make the adjustment clip with the build up shorter now if you want. But basically back to the impact, just hover over the adjustment clip and go to the fusion tab. In the same good roughly you shouldn't find the impact process, download that and just and connect it. And it's again some radio blur and some glimmer. Then go back to edit tab right, and press render cache color but on both of the clips. But this is basically how it should look. Pretty nice in my opinion. But that's basically it for today's tutorial. If you enjoyed, please consider doing drop a like and a sub. But other than that, see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.